Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about element hints, or as you may know them from other keyboard driven browsers and extensions, link hints. So typically in a normal browser, um, you're going to be using the mouse to select something. So if I wanted to click on articles, I would move the mouse over and click on articles. However, in these kinds of more advanced programs, what you can do is you can bring up these hints and they're going to show you some sort of shortcut. So in this case, you see AG is right next to articles. So if we type in AG, we can jump to the articles list. And that's pretty cool. It basically allows you to not have to use the mouse, but um, still it's really just a different way of, of clicking on things that are visible. Next offer is something that goes a level beyond that. So for example, um, not just the visible page is indexed, but actually the whole page is indexed. So I can bring up the link hints again and you'll see that um, articles is still here in the list and it's still labeled as AG even though it's not visible. And this gives us the capability to select lots of things at once to do some sort of combined operation. So um, just as a brief example, this article cites some things on GitHub. So we can look at all the citations from GitHub by just typing GitHub into our query. And then, again, another step further, we can select multiple of them and have them open up um, automatically. So I selected three links that I'm interested in, I press return, and now they're gonna be opened up in new tabs. And I can iterate through them, I can do whatever needs to be done. That's pretty cool, but how can we combine uh, the power of uh, link hints uh, to do even crazier stuff? So let's go back to our articles page. Let's go back to this keyboard article. And let's say something like, we want to view all articles on GitHub that don't have the word keyboard in them. So we can go like this, we can select GitHub, select everything, and then select the word keyboard, and then unselect everything. And now we are left with the selection of things on GitHub that do not include the word keyboard. It's pretty cool, right? So you can use this and and this or in combination to narrow down the set of links on a page that you're interested in. Furthermore, when we have those links selected, we don't actually have to click on them. We can interact with them in a variety of ways. So if I press a special key binding here, I'll be given a couple of actions. I can click on them, I can focus on them, or I can simply return them and have the function that I'm doing process them in some way. Now this isn't particularly useful for links, but can be useful for things like checkboxes where I could uh, select all the checkboxes on the page and click them instantly, or I could um, hover over a bunch of things uh, that I need uh, to be hovered over for, for whatever reason on the page. So as you can see, the combination of our prompt buffer and our you know, element hints leads to a lot of really powerful potential use cases. Thanks for your time.